Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Big Bend. Absolutely beautiful looking SUV. I love the color. This guy does have the graphics package on the hood and it looks extremely, extremely unique. You have the bucking Bronco right here. Really, really cool looking SUV. Starting off up front, we're going to have the Bronco Sport style LED headlights. The Bronco badge has been blacked out. LED fog lights coming around the side. The plastic applique bumper transfers into fender flares that then transfers into the plastic applique along the uh, rocker panels, which is greatly appreciated. That does help cut down on uh, rock chips and then eventually corrosion, especially here living in Michigan. It gets pretty bad in the winter time. We have a nice matte black wheel. It looks like on some Continental Pro Contacts, and that looks like it's a 225 55 R17 tire. Your big Ben badging is going to be right here. You have this kind of plastic applique mirror cap. Blind spot monitoring is included. You also get passive entry on the front driver and passenger door so you can unlock and lock the vehicle if you have the key fob on you. This gloss black accent from the A-pillar back looks absolutely awesome. Huge roof rack for this size of vehicle. And just like the hood, you have this really nice accent um, graphics on the C pillar. Coming around to the back we have the LED accent tail lamp with incandescent bulbs. Rear parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. The Ford logo is blacked out and then again so is the Bronco Sport logo. This guy does have two uh, ways to access the trunk. First way is with the glass, second way is the traditional way. I'll show you a little bit more on that in a bit. Coming back around to the driver's side, we have your capless fuel fill port. This almost looks like a uh, azure gray. It's one of my favorite colors. I think it absolutely looks amazing. Let's take a closer look now at the interior. Starting off over here on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle as well as the mirror controls. Your lock and unlock buttons are going to be right there. Right here we have the trunk release button, rotary dial selector for the exterior lights, as well as a dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the dash, we have this kind of rubberized material on the dash that transfers over into hard plastic closer towards the windshield. Coming down to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a nice LCD screen in the middle. Working our way back to the steering wheel, it is more of a firm leather wrap steering wheel. It's not super soft, but it's not super uh, abrasive. Mild bolsters at 10 and 2. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all the cruise control buttons as well as some steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel, we have all the controls for the center LCD screen as well as some more steering wheel mounted audio controls. This guy does have a push button start. Nice little storage tray right here. That brings us to the touchscreen display. It does have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There are a couple apps in here as well. This is more of the bare bones. Uh, trim level so you're not going to get all the crazy features however you are going to get some nice creature comforts automatic start stop button right here all the physical controls for the radio right there itself I already went over the storage shelf then we have your single zone climate control right here with your heated captain's chairs buttons wireless charging mat as well as it looks like a USB-C USB outlet and then a 12 volt outlet two cup holders right here Rotary dial shifter, electronic parking brake. This is your hold button right here. And what this will do is when your vehicle is in drive and your foot is off the brake, you actually won't go anywhere. It's pretty cool. This is your GOAT mode, which stands for go over anything or go over all terrain. I have heard it both ways. When you turn this dial, there will be a animation on the screen which will indicate what GOAT mode you are in. Nice. Uh, center armrest that doubles as a storage compartment with a USB and USB type C outlet in it There is two cutouts one on passenger side one on driver side for some cord management These heavy-duty vinyl seats feel amazing the Bronco it looks like is stitched or stamped into the uh, seat rest Your glove box is going to be right here Up top on the vanity the passenger vanity is going to be incandescent lit as well as your driver vanity the driver vanity is going to give you a three-door universal garage remote. Glass of storage right here, as well as your LED dome map light master controls. And then you have your auto-dimming, or non-dimming rear view mirror right here. 
So overall, I like the interior of this vehicle. Um, like I said, it is kind of the more bare bones trim, but you do have a decent amount of creature comforts. Let's take a look at the back real quick and see how much legroom we have. So there's an okay amount of room back here. It looks like they have the drop-in floor liners. You are gonna get storage in the form of these like Molly webbing on both driver and passenger side. And then you're also gonna get this zipper compartment on driver and passenger side as well. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And there are hanger hooks and grab handles on both driver and passenger sides. And then your LED dome map light is gonna be up top there in the middle. Um, unfortunately, it is a little cramped back here for me. I'm about 5'11 on a good day and I don't have much leg room. Plus there is some stuff in here. It looks like they are going to install this before the actual sh uh, public show. So there'll probably be some sort of like a uh, ski rack or some sort of contraption in here. Let's take a closer look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. So like I said, there are two ways to open the tailgate or trunk on this vehicle. The first way is the glass. You're gonna come up to the driver's side, push the glass button, it's gonna unlock. So if you have larger items, you wanna fold those seats down, they can stick out the back. You still don't obstruct the third brake light. Then you can do it the traditional way, push this and it will automatically come up for you. It does look like there is some sort of, I don't know, Ford branded pet crate or something back here. Pretty cool. I know you have a little bit of storage on both sides, right here and right here. There's a cargo lamp button right here at the top that does turn these on on both driver and passenger side, and they are movable. So if you are using this to change outside, there is a lot of aftermarket stuff for this vehicle you can get, pretty cool. And then there's a cargo lamp over here and a 12 volt outlet on the passenger side. Now, when you're done doing your stuff back here, there are two grab handles, one on each side, pull it and shut it. So here's the information on this vehicle. Again, they don't really give you exact vehicle Monroney's. It's just a generalized uh, like placard. Big Ben starts at 31,230. Heritage at 33,7. Bronco Sport Freewheeling 33,730. Outer Banks 35,915, and then Badlands 38,390. So there you have it, the 2024 Bronco Sport Big Bend. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more of the auto show content or vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel. Be sure to head over to Twitter or X and give me a follow there because I will be posting all this content exclusively on that platform first. Also, it'd be a real help if you checked out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.